the male dominated sport no longer no. are it's the women just sort of the eye candy of the ring no i mean you know wwe has definitely come a far way yeah. like i was saying earlier it's not about just beauty and brains but it's about being strong athletic empowering women who are role models as well sure. how did you first get into the wwe and why <laughs> um well i always loved sports and i always loved to entertain so I felt like, you know what, actually to get the best of all worlds, because I also used to work with autistic children, so we get to give back to the community, I get to get do sports, and I get to entertain. It's like, amazing. <laughs> How do you feel about taking on that uh, uh, role model, I guess, the, the ch I wouldn't say chore, I don't mean it in a bad way, but, you know, be empowering women, like that's what your duty is to go out and do that. Do you accept that responsibility? Yes, of course, just because a lot of young girls and women look up to us, you know what I mean? And Good, you know, oh, look at that, I'm sorry, look at that, whoa. Uh, <laughs> Yellow. You're, okay. yeah, you're the one flipping her. I noticed yeah. on the picture before, though, it had the initials GB. So that's your catchphrase, which girl, bye. What does that mean? <laughs> How did it become your catchphrase? Um, gosh, I don't, I don't even know. I just, one time a, a few friends of ours, um, we were just like kind of hanging out, and then all of a sudden one day I was just like, girl, bye. And I was like, you know what, why don't I use this and be, you know, connect it with my character? You know, my character is a villain. I'm an evil person as I play, you know, um, as Cameron, so... That's just the whole girl by very sassy and you know dominant. It's gotten very popular. Too. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people are girl by. Oh, wait, wait, can you do that one more time? Girl by. <laughs> oh, 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 oh no, you wait, can't. Wait, that was like Shanae. That was like a Shanae moment. Okay, wait, it's not. It's not It's not. It's not that far left. It's not that far. Okay. Well, that's yeah. not the it's, and I don't. I'm, the terminology I have to catch. It's a meme. It's a meme. M e m e. M e m e. What is meme? That's like when I feel like it's like a gif, like when something. Is that what it yeah, is? Like yeah. Is that something you either replay over yeah. or people um put like words into like a face? Yeah. yeah. So like I don't know. I'm trying to think of a good one. Yeah. Like yeah. People That's a good one right there. <laughs> All right, well, we're coming off of anti-bullying month right now, and you have a campaign that is really focused on something that's very relevant today, and that is um, cyberbullying that's happening happening everywhere. And and so you're involved with this. Well, um, yes. You know, I figured I'd use my platform to bring a positive message, and with cyberbullying being such a big thing now where it's like a place for people just to come and, like, spread hate more so than positivity, I felt like, you know, it was... I feel like I, should, I wanted to take on that and kind of be like, you know what, love the skin you're in. Don't ever let anyone tell you that you're not smart enough, you're pretty or handsome enough or tough enough to do anything in life because when you're resilient, when you have ambition, the sky has no limit. Did you hear those words? Yeah. Did you? But like, yeah. Did well, you? were you bullied? Oh. I mean, I did go through a moment in like sixth grade where I was bullied. I went through that tomboy phase and like, you know, when you're not to like the girly girl and the Barbies, like I used to get like a lot of hate for, you know, wanting to play basketball and kind of having, having like that rough edge. So, um, I kind of grew up to being like, you know, you'll never be able to do this. You'll never be able to do that. And it's kind of like me having my moment of living my dream. And for people who feel like they can't do something, it's like saying, you know what? Yes, you can, and don't yeah. ever let anyone tell you no. Well, you're a celebrity, so you must get a, a lot of great mail, but you also must get uh, hate mail as well. That has Ooh. to be hurtful. Yes, I How do. How do you deal with that? Um, You know, at first, you know, it bothered me because I'm not superhuman. Obviously, yeah. you know, people say things, and you could be like, wow, that's, I won't even say some of the things I've gotten. Um, I, I deal with it. I actually have this one story one time where I had a picture with my little sister. And, like, she's smiling, and, you know, she's growing into herself. And one time someone was like, your sister's teeth are so, like, uh, they're worse than your dad. So just, like, wow, to come on my page. You can talk as much as you want about me, but for someone who's, like, eight years old, like, at home for you. Yeah. That was just, like, okay, that's pushing the line. Well, it's interesting you brought something up, and it's just a note to, I think, a lot of people who are raising children that are in that sixth, seventh grade. Things that happen to us at that age stay with us for a long yeah. time until we face them and we begin to kind of step through that. You know? And I'm not going to even lie, like, even sometimes with people telling me, like, oh, you can never do this, there's been moments where I'm like, oh, my gosh, can I? Like, I've second-guessed myself because I am human, but, you know, I always push through and be like, you know what, no, I'm going to be the underdog and I'm going to prevail. Yeah. So you use all of those experiences to empower and help young women. And not just young women, but young boys and, and adults. All over. All over. All around. And you 
you reach them through music now. Yes. Why? Why is music? Good? I mean, I always loved music, and I was like, you know what? Why not do something that's creative to spread a message and saying just like, hey, you know what? Don't yeah. you do this? Because people are kind of not really receptive to that. So I feel like if I do it in a fun way, like where people can listen to it and kind of jam to it, mm -hmm. then it's like, okay, the message comes out a little bit more fun and people can relate a little bit and more. It stays with you. Exactly. You that catch tune that's in your head. Well, let's take a look at a little clip of your lyric video. It's called Wrong Number. <laughs> <laughs> about this and then I sit and I want to protect them from this and you can't you know they have to learn to deal with this exactly stuff. but you know um all right question for you do you want to test okay. by you we will see if you got the right number or the wrong number oh, we got to play oh, game oh, we have to play okay, game okay. Okay. all right so they're all really interesting moves in wrestling right I grew yes. up watching a lot of these guys in back in the day wait who's your favorite now me right Yes, of course. That's I, of course I know you want me to go retro because there was a guy named Rufus R. Jones who was my... Like your favorite? My favorite. Anybody watching who watched back in the day will know who it is. Uh, okay, I want to show you a picture. See if you can if you can name the hold. Oh, that right there. Oh, that's Mr. Rusev. That uh -huh. is called the camel clutch. Wow. Yes. Wow. Wow, okay. Wow, that looks like a yoga what, move. What makes it that? What makes it that, like, name, you know? What do they call that? You know what? I don't know why it's called. I mean, just, it's just. This is just what's just, right. just. Okay. All right. On to the next one. Is right. she going to get this one? Let's see. Uh, wow. I can't tell who's up and who's down. That is. What is crazy. that? Oh, zero. That is like an intense dragon sleeper. Wow. Wow. Yes. wow. No, no. But it's actually crazy. I do a dragon sleeper, but it is not that intense. You that know? is a backbreaker dragon sleeper. That is. Wow. Like, yeah, that's very intense. I just slipped three vertebrae looking at that. <laughs> Uh, last one. Wow. Do we have the last one? No more. That was it. What's that? Two for two. Two for two. That was great. Okay. Next one. Next one. Next one. You can show me how to start on you. No, I don't need to do that. More information on Wrong Number Campaign. You can, uh, and uh, Ariane, uh, you can visit ariandrewnow.com, right? Yes, right? ariandrewnow.com. Perfect. All right, we're going to come back and we're going to head into the kitchen with Dan. I mean, that's amazing. When we come back, we are warming up the kitchen with winter.